Hello, this is John Henry Sheridan, and welcome to A Thoughtful Pause. Uh, in this installment, I'd like to make the following offering. Uh, this is the thought for your consideration. Unplug often. Unplug often. Um, so I have my own personal reasons why I choose to unplug often, and it might be a bit controversial. Uh, I imagine some of you who may be watching this may feel certainly resistant to the idea. Whether you disagree or not, I don't know. Please just, you know keep an open mind for the for this talk or just tune out go elsewhere no need to attack the idea if you don't like it um, I'm not forcing anyone to do anything uh, it's a you know something to pause and think about I spent a lot of time in the past decade for sure and before but especially the past decade, plugged in. Plugged into what? To my phone, mainly, and all the social media that comes with it. And, of course, to email, which you can get on your phone nowadays and on my computer. Uh, and TV, too. Now, uh, my family here and where we live, we don't have it. Uh, TV channels. We have a TV that we use with a, a DVD player or a VCR or um, we can hook up to our computer to choose what we want to watch. We don't have any TV channels, it's just what we've chosen. Uh, but many people do have TV, so I'm sure I, I do see it when I visit my mother and I know that it is definitely um, not a lot of good news on there. A lot of fear. And you can find that all over the internet too. Um, and on social media. So yes, I'm using social media to give this message. I'm not saying, I mean, this is not an anti-social media video. This is simply a suggestion to unplug often. I'll tell you, uh, I do it a lot now. I turn my phone on airplane mode most of the time um, and I do make sure to turn my computer off and to get away from the screen for significant portions of the day. Why? Well, when we're plugged in, we there's a great temptation, great temptation to see what what's the newest and hottest thing to just search something and get a quick answer you know whatever happened to uh, wondering about an issue or a detail for a long time and then discovering it on the course of your life and rejoicing instead of the instant gratification of you putting the question Google gives you the answer or Wikipedia or something it's not a bad thing, but you don't have to, you know, satisfy that itch every single time. Um, what, one of the things that really made me want to unplug often, besides that I got this chest of electric tension around my, I uh, sorry, this belt of electric tension around my chest uh, in February from a result of just sort of being too connected let's say besides that and besides like the general anxiety that comes with always having something buzzing on my phone or something to respond to or something tempting me to look at begging for my attention besides all that uh, I once watched a video about a, uh, from a guy who said that he had no social media and forgot his name I think he wrote a book called Deep Work, um, and he explained that 
if my memory serves me correctly, I think it was him, who said, when we do deep work, we need several hours to get deeply into any subject, any topic. And if we are interrupted by anything that's not related, an email, a text message, it could be the doorbell, but that, you know, that's a rare interruption these days. Um, it's generally something electronic. It's as if we threw a, a pebble into a pond, and now that's still, a pond which was still, now that still water has has a ripple in it, and that ripple has to play itself out, which has a certain amount of time that you can't get around. Um, almost like a hangover. When you drink too much, there's a certain amount of time that's to play out before you just feel normal again. Uh, when we get a, a ping or a ding that interrupts our deep work, we have to wait 15, 20 minutes before that, before everything settles and then our, our mind becomes, you know, clear again to focus with that level of depth that we were at before. Um, it's a concept. I can't prove it. But I can tell you from experience, that makes a lot of sense to me. And when I have my phone in airplane mode or turn the Wi-Fi or internet off on my computer, if I'm doing work right now, I'm working on a book, I feel a lot more at ease. I just don't feel rested if I'm working on something. And uh, I know I can be reached. Now the people who are very important to me in my life, they know how to reach me. There's a way. Um, but not everyone in the world needs to reach me at all times. And I'm prob you know, there are some maybe emergency workers or unique situations where you may need to be reached. Maybe you have that sort of important job or in your family, whatever it is. I don't know. But... If there's a possibility you can diminish the amount of time you spend plugged in, I recommend it. It's not so easy at first, but um, the relief that I feel around my chest area from applying this habit tells me that it's worth sharing. And uh, there's a lot of information about electro hypersensitive people. I would definitely say I'm one of them. I think all of us are to a degree, some more sensitive than others, and just reducing the amount of connection to uh, electrical things and, and Wi-Fi and radio frequency radiation, electric fields, magnetic fields, can only be good. Come on, come on. And, and being more with nature, unplugged, truly living in the world with your five senses in you know this 3d reality or what 4d or 5d reality whatever you think we live in um whatever you're willing to accept all right so i'm rambling a bit because i just love talking to you guys that's my thoughtful pause for today unplug often i'm not telling you what to do it's a thoughtful pause you thought you pause you think about it does it make sense for you? Does it not? Unplug often. Take care. See you soon. Be well.